Why am I single? Why am I not single? Why does no one love me? Uh -huh. Welcome back to my channel Jessica B, I'm Jessica and today we are going to be talking about not letting heartbreak break you amid, you know, all this Valentine's Day nonsense that be going on to be honest, like, aside from Halloween Valentine's Day is just the, like, the next stupidest day ever invented I don't know why it exists, why people get so worked up about it blah blah blah, so I thought I'd put together some some calm words to help y'all ladies out there, you know so basically I come to you from a point of perspective where it's like, don't let a heartbreak mash you up. Just because, you know, the whole world seems to be saying like, you know, if you ain't got a boo, if you ain't got a bae, if you ain't got a this and that, like, there's no love out there. Number one, Jesus loves you. Like, I'm not even joking. You guys know I'm a Christian and there's no greater love out there but God's love. So when you find that girl, Valentine's Day will be a breeze for you. But obviously not everyone has those beliefs but you know there's three types of girls on valentine's day there's the girl that just does a complete meltdown and goes into her cave and just doesn't come out and talk to anyone there's a second girl who goes on like the rebound and that day if if she hasn't got someone by that day like what is life and then there's the third girl who i think we all know she just does an oops upside your head and like does a 360 and is just out there like Wah! Or just spiraling out of control. I've been all three girls, so I'm coming from experience. I'm not trying to say just because I'm married. Oh, if you guys didn't know, I'm married. <laughs> I'm not trying to say like I'm perfect. I know all the relationship advice, but I have been there. Like, <laughs> I do remember what it's like to be single. The first girl, the one that's just. <sighs> you go into the cave you go into depression that is like the the worst one for me personally anyways because i know what girls can be like and if you're like on valentine's day you need to steer clear you need to pray you need to get your girlfriends round get a tab of ice cream and a good film and just you know what or some good scriptures to put together just to remember that you don't it's not bad being by yourself like, valentine's day puts so much pressure on single people to be out there getting it and you know blah 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 when really and truly you actually don't need that like this is the best time to build on you girls i'm telling you please seek god before you enter that dark place a lot of breakups a lot of relationships end on this day and it is so easy to just fall into that trap of just woe unto me i haven't got a boyfriend no more i haven't got a life no more what am i gonna do you are beautifully amazing the way you are and if that person doesn't want to be with you then that's just the road and the path that you're going to be on for a short period of time like nothing is forever in the bible it says everything has a season so girl you need to get that seasoning sprinkle it over your hair and move on when you're married or you're courting or dating like that's a lot of time going into investing in someone else and building blah 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 blue so girl breathe pray and let it go the second type of girl that we had was our rebound girl and i don't mean just like rebound as in like to get the person back as girls we just find any riffraff that will be floating around like oh, why girl why girls like that if you know a girl like that you need to be her rock you need to just be holding her together because she could fall into some dangerous territory like there's guys waiting on valentine's day to just take the cookies out of the jar like all these guys that never knew you they just be like hey baby how are you you being on the rebound to make sure that by valentine's day that you have a boo you'll just pick up anything so be be careful because like it says the devil rolls around like a lion looking for those to kill still and destroy boys be out on the prowl on valentine's and you on the rebound trying to just get your man just for one day <laughs> it's not gonna last you know it's not gonna last it's not worth it it's not worth your purity your virginity your sanity the clarity all the teas like just chill <laughs> number three number three is the going on like a mad spiral just out of control 360 because i'm a quiet girl and i've done stuff like this like I thought because I'm so quiet guys didn't want to be near me I needed to be wild and out there doing a 360 and changing your personality just for Valentine's Day just for one day or one week so you can get some chocolates and some roses is like really not what you should be doing girls and that can lead you into long-term stuff like number three being on a mad one like it can just it can set you up for the next five years of just broken relationships just because you've completely changed everything you believe in all your morals all your singleton 
fight for the power, all of that. It's just gone out the window. I've been there. It didn't, it took me about a year and then I got saved. Like I gave my life to Christ. Thank the Lord. But number three is toxic and dangerous too. This is about girls. I'm just explaining this really shortly because we all know girls like this. We've all been girls like this. I'm pretty sure at one point, if not like it happens like if you know a girl like this you need to start praying for her or if you have vulnerable friends that can easily just be led to number two number one number three type of girls like you need to start speaking to them because valentine's day is dangerous man it's not worth it don't let heartbreak break you don't let pressures don't let social media be just trying to get if you want to get a dozen roses go and buy them for yourself you don't need a man to be buying you no dozen roses and a teddy bear like really jesus make him your love of your life he will make you into someone that you never thought you could be and then patiently wait as he prepares a man for you don't be going out trying to get no ready meal guys like pinging in the microwave one second and this oh he's chris brown <laughs> giving your life to christ is the best thing because you know you build morals and even just giving your life to christ is not even just to get a husband some girls think if i become a christian i'll get a husband that's not should be your goal like surrendering your life being saved, building yourself as a woman of Christ is the main goal. Getting into heaven is the main goal. And you know, if you're saved, girls, and you're watching this, don't give in. If he be stroking your face, flick his hand. <laughs> if he be touching your bum, kick him. I don't know, get away from these boys because they're prowling, they're waiting. Valentine's Day for losers, y'all. And I'm just trying to give you guys the passion and all the stuff I want to show, I would share with my daughters and anyone else because I know and I've been there. So build on yourself this Valentine's. Be your own Valentine. Make Jesus your Valentine. Make chocolate your Valentine. Make the fridge your Valentine. And before you know it, you'll be in a beautiful, godly, centered, grounded relationship. And you'll just be happy. And you'll be like, oh, do you remember that video Jessica did? Like, oh, totally saved my life. No, let me know if this helped you or not and be sure to check out my other videos bye guys hi guys welcome to my winter morning routine um so normally